Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about the what is OEM partition or original equipment manufacturer partition. So let's get started. Now I have already created a video on OEM partition, but that was based on Windows that was installed in legacy BIOS mode. So in that case, the disk was in MBR partitioning style. If you have Windows installed in UEFI mode, the disk is going to be in GPT partition style. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to access what is there inside and how to uh, use those files so let's get started so if i right click and go to the disk management utility and there you're going to see we have a partition style the recovery partition created that is says as oem partition in my case it is 500 550 mb if it is a, a windows installation that is installed by the manufacturer it could be up to one gigabytes also so if i right click over here i don't get any option for uh, assigning a drive letter or deleting it you need to go do it from the command utility or maybe some third party utilities you can do with, with them so let's open the command prompt I need to open as an administrator so command prompt and select run as administrator now in case of uefi installation the the oem partition all it contains is the is the recovery environment so in case if you have two boot failures or two consecutive unexpected shutdowns of windows in that case it will automatically boot up from the windows recovery environment using which you can do some kind of troubleshooting or restoring uh, or, or rolling back and update any kind of operation you can perform from there so uh, if you want to see whether we actually have that recovery partition installed whether we have recovery environment in that partition or not we can use the command utility called as reagent c so i uh, type over here reagent c slash info and this is going to show you that where is your recovery partition installed so it shows you over here that it is in your disk zero i have only one disk and it says partition one so partition numbers start from one so it is in partition number one and it means that this is the partition that is containing the data from here also you can see that the recovery partition is showing that is 17 percent free out of uh, 529 MB so if it is like 90 to 95 percent free you can understand that your recovery partition is actually empty I have tested with the uh, 1809 version of windows when you do the fresh installation it creates the recovery partition but it doesn't actually store the recovery image inside that partition it keeps in the C drive so that's how you can see that where is your recovery environment stored and um, let's see how to get into that partition and see what are the files sitting inside there for that i will be using a command that will be called as disk part from this part i just need to select the disk and then i need to select the partition and then assign the drive letter so if i go on to list disk to see the list of disk available i have only one disk that is 128 gigs so i need to select the disk zero so it is selected now if i again do list disk is going to show a star that represents that this is the currently selected disk now i need to see the list of partitions so i say list partition and this is the list of all the partitions here it is showing you three here it is showing you four we have one partition that is msr partition 16 megabytes that doesn't show up in the in the uh, uh, disk management utility so i need to select the first partition and then the assign the drive letter so for selecting i need to say select partition one and it got selected if you want to see you can say list partition is going to show a star over here that represents that you have selected the recovery partition this is 529 mb and then if i say detail of partition to see the details of the partition shows you the details partition number one what is the type whether it is hidden or not it is required or not and other attributes so if i want to see the contents inside this partition i need to give the command as for assignment and it assigns the drive letter so i just close this utility and i go to this pc and from there you can see now you are able to see the drive if i go inside it's empty why it is empty it contains some system files so i just need to switch on viewing hidden files so if i click on hidden items it's still empty i need to switch on viewing system files going on to the view tab and I scroll down over here we have hide 
protected operating system files don't hide them and click on ok and now you can see i have recovery folder created if i try to access it it's not accessible i don't have permission so i need to take the ownership of these files and grant myself permissions and then i will be able to see what is there inside so i need to just come out of the the command utility and now i can use the command called as take own to take the ownership of the file I need to take the ownership um, I just need to go to that drive first of all so type in e drive for me it is an e drive uh, take own I want to take the ownership forward slash file star this is case insensitive you type in uppercase or lowercase it doesn't really matter and then I need to have the the, the ownership of all the folders and subfolders so forward slash r for recursive and yes and I have taken the ownership of that now I need to grant myself full control so for that I have ICACLS command line utility for that I just need to say ICACLS give me control of all the files grant admin this is my username you can check what is your username by typing who am I so from there you can see that what is your name so i'm at, logged in as admin a user named admin so icscls give me star forward slash grant the control to admin colon and what permissions you want to have so i need to have full control so we have uh, f for full control and i need to give permission to all the subfolders so forward slash t for that recursion so f forward slash t and enter and i got the permission for all those files now i will be able to click to go inside windows recovery so here we have that windows wim file now the size of that file it depends actually on the version to version or if you have a, a manufacturer specific windows recovery image it might be bigger so this is how we can access the wim file that's it hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and in the next video i'm going to show you how to delete this recovery partition so see you in the next video